Europe's seas and coasts have long supported a thriving tourism sector, employing more people than any other blue economy sector in the EU. Europe is the most visited region in the world, uh, and one of the reasons for that is the fact that it has stunning coastal landscapes and beautiful islands, which also explains why coastal tourism is a key driver of wealth and jobs for our coastal communities. We all love to travel, we all love to be tourists, and we all know we go to the sea and we look at it, we soak it up, the, you know, the healing, the blue mind as we say. So we appreciate the fact that live, thriving ocean ecosystems have got massive tourism value. Roughly one third of all tourism activity in Europe takes place in coastal destinations. In 2018, uh, coastal tourism generated more than 3 million jobs and represented a bit over 50% of overall hotel capacity in Europe. But the marine and coastal environments that support Europe's coastal tourism sector are coming under increasing pressure, both from climate change and human activities. Tourism is also an activity that is causing a lot of impact in the marine environment and we require monitoring of multiple issues, eutrophication, marine litter, in relation to coastal and marine tourism in order to understand better this impact to the environment and in order to be able to build activities that are more sustainable and environmental friendly. EMODNET, the European Marine Observation and Data Network, has been gathering data about our marine and coastal environments for over 10 years and making this valuable information freely available. In order for tourism to be developed sustainably, we need to understand better the quality of waters that are used for recreation, and this requires a lot of knowledge and a lot of data in coastal areas. And in Imodnet, we are planning to include this data and increase the spatial and temporary resolution of data in the coastal areas to support this. Imodnet can play a very important role by providing open access to a, to a wealth of marine data that we actually need to better understand our options, smarter use of our coastal areas and the ocean in order to inform better policies and, and make wiser trade-offs. The COVID-19 pandemic paralyzed the EU's tourism sector but there is now an opportunity to rebuild this sector in a way that is more sustainable and respectful of our marine and coastal environments. There's a, an emerging family of uh, tourism operators across coastal destinations in, in Europe that are increasingly embracing ecotourism in the sense that they contribute to build closer relationships between people and the ocean. Emotnet can actually do a lot to support this, for example, by providing them with maps of protected areas or protected habitats, but also so that their needs in terms of healthy coastal ecosystems and pristine landscapes are also taken into consideration in marine and maritime spatial planning uh, decisions. As a trusted source of marine and coastal information, Imotnet can support the EU's blue tourism sector to develop new, more sustainable activities and in doing so, create a more ocean-aware and ocean-literate public. The coastal tourism industry is very well placed to do that because it is at the forefront of interaction with the greater public. Like that, it can feed good practices, examples, processes, and it can inform and educate the users of this industry. Like that, we can end up with a more literate public, more literate tourists, who will then take these habits back home with them. So visit eModnet. It's your gateway to marine knowledge.